Well, that service, I haven't even called for a cab yet. How's that? I travel light. Never know when you'll have to leave town in a hurry. Just give me 10 minutes. Ain't a cabbie. Oh, you ain't, ain't you? No, sir. Listen, fellas, I, uh, are you sure you've got the right room? You ain't a cat, ain't you? Depends how big the bill is. We affiliated with Mr. Thompson. You're milky, isn't it? Chalky. See, when you come to town, we never do get a chance to see you strut. On account of the rules of the venue. Oh, boys, let me tell you, that's an outrage. You come to New York, I personally guarantee you the best bonds. Ain't gonna be able to do that. But Mr. Thompson, he say, come by. Maybe you do a little show for us. Well, I wish I had the time. You said you had 10 minutes. Look, um... Mr. White. And Mr. Permsley. I explained to Nucky. He means the world to me. I, I just can't walk away from a contract. He of all people understands. Take a place you like us to sit. Uh, right there is good. Usually work a bigger room. We simple folk. Make it something funny. A boy and girl were walking, oh, walking, yes, walking. And as he stood there talking, he stole a little kiss. The girl, he started giggling, oh, giggling, yes, giggling. And as he stood there wiggling, he shyly told her this, oh, gee, oh, gosh. Oh, golly, I'm in love. Oh, gee, oh, gosh, it's you I'm thinking of. I love to hold your teeny weeny hand in mine. <clears throat> I get a piggly wiggly feeling down my spine. <clears throat> oh, me, oh, my, oh, how I love. Tell the son of a bitch I'll do it. <laughs> 